Okay, we're live, Mom. Where are you? <laughs> Hi, guys. We'll give you a minute to come on. And Hi, we'll just everybody. hope you had a good weekend. Oh, we do hope you had a good weekend. All right, so we're showing our fun idea for the Super Bowl, like we told you today. Um, this is just going to be a crowd pleaser, something really fun. I think right? it is. Um, on our menu for this week, we have our, uh, our pot roast dinner, actually on Sunday. Yeah. But when I did the menu, we don't know when the you Super always, Bowl is. You probably is. forgot. Yeah, no, I didn't forget. <laughs> I actually didn't know when the Good Super Bowl would be. And so when I did the menu a month ago, I didn't know actually the date of the Super Bowl. So we've got our pot roast, if you want to do that, on Sunday. And then we have another really fun idea to show you. That's that's nice. I, I'm in my heels, so I look even taller than her. And my mom says, it's a good thing to be tall. And I'm not saying that it's not, but I'm like, I feel like I'm towering over her today. She's not in heels. Okay, so thank you. That was very nice. Well, did everybody have a good weekend? And then at the very end, we want you to help us decide what to do for Friday. We kind of want help on that. So we'll talk about that in a minute. We have a few a few ideas that we yeah, want to do. So that we we'll want to do. So like. we're going to ask you what you want to do. Okay, so what? Talk about, you want to talk about it first? No, no, that's, well, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Start talking about okay. it, right? So um, on Friday, we were thinking. Of, no, no, this. Oh, let's oh, just get okay. into the recipe. <laughs> okay, let's yeah. get into the recipe. Yeah. So, so we don't go as long today. Right. Okay, let's do this fast. Let's speed this up. Okay, um, so when I was down at Churchill Downs, um, Lizzie didn't actually come with me on this little getaway. Um, we went to, I didn't, went down there to speak down in Kentucky. And oh my goodness, Dina down there brought me and she is amazing. And by the way, we're headed to Florida. Yeah. The end of April. We're going down. Uh, we're so excited to be asked to go down near Orlando. And it's it's going to be so exciting. So all of our Florida fans, Lizzie and I are both coming down there to do um, a speaking engagement for you. <laughs> we're doing a presentation. So it's we're going to be do a party. Of, we're going to do some demoing. Anyway, it's going to be so fun. It's going to be a party. We're so excited. We'll tell you more about um, that later. But Let anyway, fix this. that is coming up the end of April. So we'll be down in Florida just outside of Orlando. So we're really excited about that. But when I was down in Kentucky, Dina and the crowd took me to Churchill Downs. And that was on my bucket list. That has been on my bucket oh, list. If, if, to see that. If someplace was ever on my bucket list, it was the Derby. Which I didn't go to the Derby. Yeah. The Kentucky Derby. But I went to a different race. And that was as good as the Derby for me. I know. It seemed I, like it, 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 your pictures look like you were at the race. It was as good as the Derby. And we got to eat all the food and see everything. How they, you know, they do it. They go through all the motions of the how the horse come out and go around and then they oh my gosh it was it was amazing but I took away from there an idea and it was called cup of Q so we're doing our own um, idea of what that was and it's called we're naming it barbecue in a cup it's so good it is so good we tested this out on Sunday with our family and what everybody was like what is this this is amazing it seems weird when you say it like when somebody is like what's exactly in it it seems really weird but once you have all the flavors together it's good well we've been working on it for a few months and no, I know but finally then yes, everybody had we, it on Sunday it, exactly and we tried <laughs> it a different we tried it we've tried it both ways the quick way and the totally homemade, homemade way. way. Right. And so we're going to show you the quick way. Yeah, this is the quick. Because everybody wants really fast Super Bowl. Like nobody wants to be slaving in the kitchen really on Super Bowl Sunday. So if you do want to make all of it homemade, of course it's going to be yummier. But we have one key ingredient that has to be homemade. Well, two. I repeat. Two key ingredients. Oh, yeah, yeah, two. But the one, I'm serious, if you do not, this is going to be ruined <laughs> because it's one of the best things we ever have. I can't eat another cornbread out there. I know. I cannot. Both of our cornbreads, cannot. our southern cornbread and our northern cornbread are amazing. Amazing. There's so many great recipes from the south. We have many of them in our books. Yep. 
Um, but then we have many ideas that we still want to show you that we hey. with, that we continue to learn in the South right. and continue to get the ideas right. from. Right. So let's start off with the quick way, and then we'll show you if you want to do it all. Okay. The all the homemade way. Sounds good. Okay. So first of all, so wait, Lizzie, hold go, on. Let me take this out. Yeah. So Lizzie, go <laughs> ahead and explain to him exactly what it is first. What what is in our cup of barbecue? Okay. So you start off with our homemade cornbread. Let's go over here and show you our homemade cornbread. And like she said, we have two different cornbreads, but this one is our favorite. It's my favorite. I it's, think the other one is good too. Yeah, they're but both amazing. You've never had a cornbread like this one. It tastes like cake. Like and literally, if you like hate you're eating cake. cornbread, you'll never hate it again. No, never. <laughs> you'll never hate it again. Okay, so you're putting the cornbread on the bottom. Then you're putting some honey. You're drizzling some honey on top. But aren't we going to show it? Yeah, putting we it are. together? We are. We're going to put it together. And then you've got to have the pulled pork. And you tell them why you. this is the quick one. Okay, so this is the quick way to do your pulled pork. It's the Kirtland Smoke Pulled Pork. And, of course, we always make it, you know, homemade. We do our brisket or we do our Louisiana pork roast and or just cook our pork roast, you know, super fast. Yeah. Um, we've got all kinds of recipes in both books to do it. But my sister said, Liz, I think you we you should try this recipe because I was making it for her and she said, I or not this recipe. I think you should go to Costco and I think you should try this because you don't use anything from Costco. <laughs> and she said it's Which really sister good. Was that? that was Jan. Oh. And she said it's super good and you're going to like it. So we went and we tried it for this recipe. It's the smoked pulled pork. It's two pounds. It's ten dollars. And Anyway, it's it's pretty, it's super This good. is called the Northern Style. Well, after, aren't you writing up a post and we're telling yes, exactly we're telling which everything. recipes? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And so what you do is you, you buy this, if you want to do the quick way, you get this at Costco and it comes in a little pouch. You put the pouch in boiling water for 10 minutes, then you open the pouch and you sort of sift through the meat because some of the meat... Um, and let me say something funny. I walked in and I'm like, did we literally just bust out pot from 200 years ago? <laughs> I have never seen an older crock pot in my life. But it's a smaller one. I mean, it's hilarious. Yeah. We have, a, you know, this, we vintage. don't have, yes, it's vintage and we don't have that much meat. So a little crock pot is perfect for this. <laughs> so look how it's keeping it nice and moist and, and hot. So when we're, when we're ready to serve this, it's, it's ready to go. But and you had added some barbecue sauce yeah, so to we, it. So we've added a little bit of barbecue sauce. So all we've done is opened the, the Kirtland pulled pork, put it in the water for 10 minutes. After that, you sift through. You make sure to get all the fat out. And I, have, I hate to say this, but in this time, there was so much fat in this. Mm. But it, it wasn't before. But I wanted to show you that you need to pull the fat off so that it looks like this. So that you have all good pork, but I'm telling you, it is delicious. Okay, well, how we many wouldn't do you be really showing think you. this is serving? So this is going to serve about, um, I said, 8 to 10 adults, but I've never taken out that much fat before. I know. So that's the, that's the only thing, but it's, so we'll keep it moist and we'll, go, we'll come over. Now, the beans, okay... So, Lizzie, the beans, we have made them homemade. And they're so easy to cook on top of, top of the stove or if you have a um, cooker or whatever. But you can also get these southern-style beans, the southern-style white beans by Bush, and they're really good. Or just plain white beans, okay? So if you want to do the quick way, there you go for that. So over here on the stove. Wait, we, look at this. I just picked up another 200 pounds of Kamut from oh. your sister-in-law yesterday, making cornbread ASAP. 200 oh. pounds. Oh, that's... Whoa. You're, you're set. You're set. You're set. You can cook anything. You're a rock star. So <laughs> we've got our beans heating on the stove oh. right here. And the southern beans. So go ahead and show that. And then we have our barbecue sauce here, which you can make homemade, or you can do your favorite, like Sweet Baby Ray's or Casey Masterpiece, whatever is your favorite, just make sure that it's heated, okay? 
So we'll turn. If we wanted to cook a pork roast in the crock pot on our own, what recipe in your books would be good for this? Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. We'll go over to the books in just a minute. And while I have all the recipes. Oh, that's marked. funny. My 17 year old son has made me make the northern cornbread for his birthday cake. And oh she puts goodness. candles inside. Oh that's funny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so delicious. Okay, so how do we do a quick coleslaw? This is also in our second book. And we'll pull these recipes out for you to show you. So the way I like to do a really quick coleslaw is get a sharp knife. And this happens to be a bread knife. It's, but I like the way it's ser serrated. And it's going to allow me to get this super thin. Okay? Everybody loves cabbage, don't ya? Doesn't everybody love cabbage? Mom, I love cabbage, but I have to say I haven't loved I love every coleslaw I've ever tried. Okay, I love But this one's so good. It's just plain, and, and everybody will love it. But I love cooked cabbage. I love to put it in the oven and roast cabbage. I love it in soups and on our fish tacos. Yeah, it's amazing. Cabbage is so good. Mm -hmm. so, so what we have is we've got our... Is, is, you can even get it, try to shave it a little bit thinner. Some people like to grate it, okay? You can even grate it. But I don't have a lot of luck with grating. I'm always cutting myself <laughs> when I grate. So I think I prefer this method for this. But you can also grate it. Um, you can also cut it up smaller, just like this, if you'd like. Um, or, you know, depending on what you're using the coleslaw for, um, you can just keep it longer. But uh, you need about a cup of cabbage, and then we just take some fresh carrot. And this is really fresh carrot. Just grate a little bit right into it, like this. And I like to buy my carrots singly. I know Trader Joe's has a nice package of carrots, and, and all the stores actually have decent carrots, but I like to buy them singly because I, I believe they're better. They're sweeter. I, I never buy the, the um, carrots that, have, or that are the little baby carrots because it's just kind of, let me, let me turn this down. Someone just bought 230 pounds of Camu. Wow. Whoa. Okay, then. Oh, somebody wants to know where the bowl is from. That, that one is from France. Then we're going to add. I at least have one too. Yeah. I'm not as jealous, we but. We got this in Soufflenheim. The, you get these in France. In Soufflenheim. So you've got to go to Soufflenheim. We'll get you one, Darcy. Everybody's headed to Souf Soufflenheim. So then about a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise or to your liking. Okay, and we'll just mix this together really quick to make a super quick coleslaw. Now, we have another coleslaw in our first book. Uh, this is in the second book, but we have another coleslaw with a vinegar base that's also excellent. But this is the coleslaw that we need to finish off this cup of barbecue. And we have a West Virginia hot dog that we also put this mixture on. Okay, we're going to add just a little bit of fleur de sel and just a, just a little bit of pepper as well. So we'll add just a little bit of fleur de sel to this and a little bit of pepper. And um, so, the fleur de sel, just, so, you know, explain again. So this the is our finishing de, salt. So this is our finishing salt from France. So we have two. This is, this is the first layer when they farm it, you know, our 2,000-year-old salt. And we're going to the salt farm this July to see all of this done with 24 of our fannies. We're so excited for our France trip. Um, and they'll get to see it in action. So the first layer from the um, ancient salt farm is the fleur de sel, which is, like I said, the top layer. Then our next gray moist salt comes um, on the second and third layer that is closest to the clay. And that's why it's moist and it's gray in color. It's amazing flavor, uh, the best flavor you'll ever taste. It's so delicious. Okay, so our coleslaw is ready. Our coleslaw is done. And I love Best Foods mayonnaise too. It's, it's the my only. very favorite. Okay, so everything is ready to gather. Okay, well let me tell you barbecue. something. Everybody's dying over the bowl. You know what's so unbelievable about France, the reason we love that country even more? is when I went to go visit my mom on her mission, she found the little town, like she said, Soufflenheim. 
And you guys, this is so inexpensive and it's all handmade. They're all different. I've got a little bit of a different color. Like you could never go back to the store and find the exact same color, the exact same one. But that's what's so cool. But this is our dream. Yes. Our sister wants to make pottery. Huh? Oh, she does. She, our sister yeah. Amy is going crazy. She wants to get a wheel. Like we we all have a dream of having a shop one day and doing yeah. it. Yeah, and doing it. And Darcy, you know. But I'm just like, we're obsessed. Yeah. Because, oh, they're one of a kind. Thanks to Karen and Steve who um, showed me the little town of Sufalheim. Oh, they showed you Sufalheim? Yes, they did. <laughs> and I'm always appreciative to them. I want to give them a shout out because they were the ones that says come on come on Liz we're going to Souffle 9 it's the dreamiest and town you've got to drive yeah. out to it it's far from Paris but ooh, yeah it was, it's amazing yeah it's it's way far from Paris but very close to Germany okay yeah, Lizzie, closer to Germany okay so Lizzie I'm gonna show you now making us the cup of cute okay well okay where's the where's the cup so right here so I think you Lizzie, we thought... We're going to make pottery. we got a dream. we got a dream of lots of stuff. So don't... I turn it around. Well, it's okay. You can just do it that way if okay. you want. Okay. Where's the knife? We've got a fit. Here, I'll okay. get one. I'll okay. Get one. <laughs> so we're getting ready with all these different ingredients. And they're all super fresh. Okay. So you want to fit. You've got your cup. I mean, this is like really for Super Bowl. We don't normally put stuff in cups like this. We just thought it would be really... Um, it's a bright, party. And it's a party. It's okay, so you're trying to fit the cornbread at like the bottom. I can't but you show want, you. You want a whole piece. A in whole there. piece to fit on the bottom, okay? And we tried, um, Lizzie, we tried the clear cups, but we think it's much cuter. Yeah. And the red. It's fun. Okay, so then we're drizzling some honey. Just a second. Just a second. I didn't get you getting that. Mom, our filming is funny. And you know what? Somebody asked us yesterday what the best honey is, and we just really like the Kirkland. You're so close. To yeah. Me. Well, there's 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 people there's individuals that actually make honey in Utah that are amazing, but it's expensive, um, much more expensive. And so the most economical honey is at um, Costco. Yes, we love the Utah grown. We love to support local. Yes. You know, but. Really, the Kirkland is a good one. And it's... Because a lot of people have asked that. economical. Especially if you're making a lot of Kamut bread, that's the best price. Okay, you show the next, Mom. Okay. Because so your filming have, was so lovely. So, so now <laughs> we have the corn bread and the honey. And plenty of it. So we've I got know, a whole big piece. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do the beans. Okay, and the beans are hot. So I suggest if you don't have a million different crock pots to keep all of this in, keep it hot on top of the stove. Okay, so then we have the beans. Then we'll come over here to the barbecue. Someone says, my husband has fallen in love with the Corsal. I made your chocolate chip cookies and he was even more in love. When he got a bite with some of this salt, I can't even, oh, I can't even wait to get the jar for it. Oh, oh I know. Oh, and we'll tell you about and, the salt in a minute. Yeah, we'll tell you about the salt okay. in a minute. Okay, so Lizzie, let's let's show him how good this is. No was. wonder Mr. Food Nanny hates when we talk about things too quickly. <laughs> I know. Okay, <laughs> because the salt is on hold right now on, on one of the docks. Okay, so then we'll we add him. a little bit of this um, meat that the barbecue meat, the pulled pork, and we're that we've added a little bit of barbecue sauce to, and now we'll add a little bit more barbecue sauce on top of there, just like that, okay? And then we'll add our coleslaw. We'll top it, it off. It might not look like the fanciest thing. <laughs> no, and you can and but you guys, the flavor. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so there's our little. So Lizzie. Come over here. Let's just stay let's... over here because the, the light is so okay. good. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and okay, taste I'll that. Okay, I'll get you some pork. So it's it's delicious, and it's in a cup. It's all together. Oh, oh. And when we served it to everybody, um, just two days ago, just what a day, two days ago. Yeah, Sunday. They were, they loved our new rendition. So everything is hot. It's. But that you got to make sure it's warm, and then you've got the coleslaw that's the cold. Oh, uh, uh, mmm, good. Are you not gonna take oh. it? Oh, it's, it's good. It's super good. Someone I, said they call those barbecue Sundays. Really? 
That's a good idea. Mm. So we're just going to call it Food Nanny Barbecue in a Cup because we're doing it our way. It's good. You you did. I do actually like that meat. Homemade, I love. Okay, so which roast mm. did you say you would use? Mm. Okay, so let me grab the book. Oh, man, it's good. It's really good. Barbecue Sundays, that's kind of fun. So this is how we've done. Try to get a bite of all of it. Done it in the past. First of all, um, let's start off with the beans. Mm. So in our second book, I tell you how to make pinto beans from scratch. So <clears throat> it's so easy and so delicious. This is what we did actually on Sunday. Um, you can even, you can even, instead of boiling them on top of the stove, you can cook them in the oven at 350 for about two hours if you don't want to do or it on top of the stove. Or if you do have an Instant Pot, which we have not jumped on that bag wagon, but we're that gonna, is what I would use that for. Yeah, and we actually Because have, it cooks beans fast. It does. And I it, tried it. And we actually have a guest coming, Chef Brad. He's going to be with us in about a month or so. <laughs> Um, we have some great gr guests coming um, in the next few months, and he's going to show us how to use um, a an, an electric um, pressure cooker. Okay, so that's the, those are the beans. Now the um, coleslaw is in our second book, and the recipe is on one sixty three. But aren't so we going to combine coleslaw. all the recipes for this? For them? Um, well, we're just telling them, you know, where they can find them. Okay. And then we have we, to. Okay, we do. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the three day brisket that is so delicious to do this with. So the three day brisket is one idea, okay? And that's in book two. And the three day and brisket really does take three days. It but is, it is ooh, amazing. amazing. You just get it started on the first day. The recipe is very simple, it's all right there. It's very simple. It's really I'll, good. And then let me get. Okay, the let's. Other, Let's ask a, okay. Let me get the other. Oh, recipe. as I'm about to fall this. Uh, do you have a good Kamut cinnamon roll recipe? Well, we just use our regular cinnamon roll recipe and just use Kamut. So our cinnamon rolls are delicious. They're amazing. Okay. Oh. So here's the cornbread. Uh -huh. Okay, everybody, here's the cornbread. It's in the first book. And then this is the other um, recipe that we use. And it's the Louisiana pork. We have really good cinnamon rolls. The thing about Kamut that everybody needs to remember is that it's becoming your all-purpose flour. That's what's so incredible because it's yummy, it's better for you, and you just start using it in everything, cup for cup. It's very easy to transition into. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing. It ups the quality of everything you make. This is our Louisiana pork roast that works perfect for this as well. The flavor on this is amazing. So we've we've done them all and we use them all in different ways, but we just thought how fun this would be this year to do for the Super Bowl. Yeah, I just think it's fun. The men will be happy and even the women, you guys are, you're gonna really like them. Okay, an apron update. So these are being made right now, yes. right? As yes. we speak. So these will be done in like March. So you can still pre-order. The end of March, yeah, we're hoping. The end of March. The end of March is what we're still hoping for. Right. In talking to Kara, she's not sure, but um, she's going to get him to us as soon as she can. The end of March, the 1st of April. You guys, I put it on and I don't want to take it off the entire day. I even had to go like pick up my kids in an activity. Everybody keeps finding me and I can't stop wearing it. They are so comfy. It's so much room and it just feels like... And it takes good care of your clothes. Yeah. So you don't have to worry whatever you're wearing for the day. If you have a nicer sweater on or a nicer blouse... Um, everything it, comes out of it. Everything, even my t-shirts I like to cover up because I don't like to get a stain on my t-shirt yeah. that I can't get out. Yeah. I just love wearing an apron. Mm -hmm. And when I'm, when I'm running around and cooking, I'm very And these sloppy. are the, the small to medium. So see how they, it's like, really it's supposed to be like a one size fits all, but then we've got the large one if you want it to be longer or, or a any, little bit more roomy. Or yeah, or be even a little more roomy. Yeah. But they are worth every penny. We have looked online. There are some people that sell them for like 125 or more. 
and ours are only going to be $75. So it's that's a, it's amazing. It's a good deal. We also have... That's a, a good deal. We also have a cheaper cheaper apron online. It's online now. It's $19.95. Yeah, our black one. It's It'll last you forever as well. It's a really great durable one. It's great. We always... <laughs> we've been wearing that one for 10 years. <laughs> and it's $19.95. So we have... We hope that um, we're reaching a diverse audience in that we're trying to give you budget-friendly meals. We're trying to accommodate everyone, what, no matter what your budget is. Yeah. And we know that, and we know that as we plan, make our meal plans, they're very budget-friendly, and they will accommodate anyone's budget. And so that's the most exciting thing. But things like this, I just think that there are times where you have to invest a little more money for what you get. Like when we tell you to invest in a stop or a copper pot or, you know, something that's really worth it, like the apron. This is a nice quality apron that's going to last you. And so it's like there are things, but yes, we do accommodate to everything. And it's not like all of our stuff is just top of the line crazy. You can do this at any budget and create a good environment for your family and just make them dinner. Exactly. At, all at, of, at whatever budget. At all the kitchen art that you get, um, that you have, is it just makes just makes you want to cook more. That's the whole thing. It's just slowly, um, very slowly, make yourself a list. I mean, first make yourself a list of the things that you really want and over time, slowly collect them. Yeah. You know, you'll go, maybe you'll drive to It California. takes time. Yes, it takes lots of time. I'm very old. <laughs> and and I still, you see in the lives, I get very bitter. She's got way cooler things than me. <laughs> okay, yes, the, this is from Belgium. So she, she gets the... So we get the, the material. Fabric, the material. We get the material from Belgium, 100% linen. It's very strong. It's very sturdy. It's wonderful. Then we bring it over and we have it dyed. And then we send it to be made and logoed and everything. And so you're getting a good deal because the $75 includes shipping. And this so, is the bluebell. This is our food nanny color that we have created. But we also offer the black. Well, she was asking. And the gray. Yes. Yes. The black and the gray and the, the natural. natural. And so they're all, are all amazing. Online, they're, and they're all, all amazing. amazing. Okay, so now you've mentioned the salt. Okay, so the salt thing. So it comes from France, right? We're shipping the salt directly from France, and it's stuck at the dock in New York City. This is what we just found out this morning. So we were supposed to pick up the salt and the salt containers this Friday, but it's delayed. And so now Mr. Food Nanny is saying hopefully on Monday. So, you guys, it's a bummer. But, what can you do? But, but it's coming. Yes, it's just just, nor, just normal for when you're when you're receiving anything from overseas. But I know well, I've, or anywhere. But I know I've made you crazy because we've made them crazy. Yeah. They're like, I've got girls that are like, is it here? I don't want to <laughs> miss out. So I'm sorry. Okay. Um, okay. So I like that they have pockets. I, I know they're so great. These yeah. aprons are great. Okay, so what do you want to do now, Mom? So I think I think that's that's it for today. We need to try to make our lives a little bit shorter <laughs> when we can. If there's no other questions, we're excited. I think you had one question about the okay. beans. Okay. Um, um, do you drain and rinse white beans like you do black beans, and then we just warm them on the stove? Um, it's easier to warm them in their juice. So just, you don't need to drain them. If you prefer doing that, you can. But it's easier to warm them if, we, if you're using them out of a can. Mm -hmm. To just warm them in their juice. It's very but simple. But you guys do not do this recipe unless you make the northern cornbread. Because I don't, there is no store-bought, no there, other recipe I can gag down. The, the, it's so good, the northern. The, there's so many recipes coming out now, like in a bowl. Putting all the different yeah, some said the a rice, mac and the cheese chicken, in a bowl or something. Yes, yeah. the walking tacos. Um, we need to have Emily on. She needs to show us how she does her walking tacos. I, I, I said, what are you doing? And she said, I'm, we're doing these walking tacos. And I don't know if everybody knows about those, but I sure didn't. And so we need to have her come 
on and show how she does that. Yeah. And that's a really, that'll be a really fun, quick meal for all you um, girls who have so many kids in sports. So it's kind of a sport thing. But yes, there's so many little ideas now in a cup, in a bowl. There's so many. We I'd love to go out and get a bowl for lunch. I know. It's and fun. I'd love to share a bowl. <laughs> yes, we <laughs> take free orders on the aprons. Yes, yes, yes. And then you'll get them later. And the reason we're doing pre-orders is because really we don't have that many. So we're just trying to like figure out exactly. We're trying to make sure. Yeah. We're trying to get the right amount. Um, to begin with, at least. Okay. For whoever wants one. That's so nice. Okay. Everybody says it's their favorite. Great. Their so, northern cornbread. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm so It's happy. from the first cookbook. Yes. It's, in, it's out of the first cookbook. Yes, it's in this cookbook. Right here, um, the northern style cornbread on page 241 in the first cookbook. We also have the southern, which is amazing, which, may, which is made with buttermilk. And you can also make it in your... Um, uh, your black, um, it's left my mind. Um, Wait, what? You can also do it in a cast iron skillet. Oh, yeah. That's what I was trying to think of. You can also do it in a cast iron skillet. No, but... no pre-orders on the salt jars. We tried. Okay, so what do you want to do for Friday? Okay. Our ideas, say your ideas. So our ideas are... You take a vote. ...to show you how to do, um, how to grind your own wheat, talk about food grinders, and to show you the Kamut bread with 100% ground Kamut, okay? Instead of the all-purpose Kamut. And then um, Lizzie um, wants to have an idea about your dessert. Oh, I just thought maybe do you want like a dessert? Because we haven't done a we dessert haven't for dessert, a while. Yeah, and I'm like the dessert queen. I love dessert. So maybe say your vote. Do you want to see how to grind wheat? Not that we'll never not show this stuff. Right, right. <laughs> But anyways, I don't know. Okay, yes, the mini loaf pans, they, they're basically out, but she's right. The Sur La Top, that's where we get them. So go look up, um, DM me for the link to Sur La Top. Okay, people are saying dessert, dessert. Okay, dessert, dessert this week. Okay, great. Dessert. <laughs> okay, Lizzie's a dessert queen. <laughs> okay, but which one are we gonna do? <laughs> do you it. want it to be fun for the Super Bowl? Everybody's saying dessert. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, because we haven't done a dessert forever. No. And we need to do we need to do more desserts. Yeah, we do. Because yeah. we have so many good oh, desserts. Oh, my goodness. So many good ones. Okay, dessert one. Okay, perfect. For the Super Bowl. Okay. I'm going to think about this. <laughs> For the Super Bowl. Okay, we okay. need to think of something fun that will go with this. Yeah. Done. We'll think about it. Okay, that will be fun. Okay, so... What else do we have to say? Is that it? Um, just that we... Oh, quick, really fast. On the Highland thing, a lot of people were a little bit confused on that. So she's just out of town for a week, and then she'll be back. But you've got today at 11 to noon, and she has so many people that are coming. So you better DM me, get her, you know, text whatever. And because um, you've only got today. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted. But by soon this. we'll have um, a warehouse that's going to open in Salt Lake. And so it will be convenient for everyone who lives in Utah to stop by there and get your food nanny flour and your salt. Um, okay, we are going to have really cute dessert Valentine's ideas too. Oh, Next yes. week we're going to show you our Valentine's, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to show you our Valentine's dinner and a Valentine's dessert. But I guess we'll show you a Super Bowl dessert for one. You guys want a dessert. Um, the dough hook. Yes, the, the Danish dough whisk thing that we were showing. We have a link. If not, Orson Gigi is getting those in too. Yes. And they're delayed, I think. Things are just it delayed. It just happens. It just yeah. happens. Um, I love your cakes. Is there homemade recipes? I don't uh, remember to buy the box cakes since I usually... Yes, we have a million homemade cakes. We also have box cakes. That, that are like go super, with that the go cake with, too. That go in, in the batter that we do. They're amazing. And you know what? You want to know something? We have tried a lot of recipes out there. It is not like we're just only into our recipes but we even um looked into like a uh, boss cake wasn't even like boss remember you know the boss cake guy that's from new york he even said that most cakes 
are the best when it starts with a cake mix. He even admitted that. He's like, most cakes are better when you're adding the other ingredients to the mix. That's what he said That's once. what he said once. So I don't know, but in our second book, the desserts alone, I can't get enough. Like, let me just show you. Like, oh man, this crazy chocolate, I mean this fruit tart, we have a chocolate tart, but this fruit tart is incredible. Like every it's single page, is incredible, but her strawberry well, cake. Well, the cupcake. The cupcake is the best she'll ever have in the world. And then the one on, I don't know, there's so many, but she's got a million cakes. I use all my cakes out of this book. When we did the wedding, and that's the cakes they wanted for their wedding, so we've got good ones. And the I love the cakes in the first book. Yeah, too. those two. They're amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. all good. So we've got a million desserts, guys. They're all so good. Even we'll, our coconut cake that's yeah. not on our We'll books. start doing more desserts. Yeah, we'll start doing more. We need to, especially around Valentine's Day. Um. Yeah, we want. they want a Valentine's Day dinner and dessert. We're on it. Yeah. We need a favorite gadget list. We need to work on that. Yeah. Because we thought we had one and then I don't know. We need to work on that. But yeah, the Danish dough hook you can get on um, Instagram. I mean, Amazon. And we've already had so many people <laughs> tell us that they've already bought it on Instagram. It is so good. It's right here. I just used No, it. we're not going to sell them right now, but maybe. Yeah. But they're on Amazon or, like we said, or Singigi. I just use it to mix up the cornbread right now. And you know, when we showed our bread last week, we showed you in a KitchenAid, we showed you in a Bosch, we showed you how to do it by hand. Um, because the bread recipe, it does not make four, six, eight loaves. It only makes two loaves or six minis. This is perfect. You don't even need your KitchenAid or your Bosch. You just mix it up right by hand. It was more work. I mean, that, that KitchenAid was, was a up. mess. Yeah. The way she had to clean up that <laughs> KitchenAid, it's more work, you guys. Uh, okay, you, little Amy, that's a girl in California that wants to pick up a bunch of Kamut. It's a little delayed. So you need to DM me because it's probably not going to be till next Monday. Oh, there's always so much to talk about. Okay. What is the French back store in California? I lost the link. It's the girl that we're going to do a live She's with. She's coming, um, actually, February 8th. We're doing a live with her here in our kitchen. We are so excited. No, you oh. don't even get it. Like, she has been my idol. <laughs> <laughs> She has been my oh. idol, and she's coming, and it's going to be crazy. We're going to have, like, a full day of crazy fun stuff that we're yeah. showing you. We're so excited she wanted to come to Utah, and she is so excited to see all the snow. I know. She's, she's excited. LA. Oh, she's so excited. Okay. Uh, there's so many more questions. Um, will the salt jars be at the pickups or just online? Both. They will be on both. Do you have to grind the gray salt before using in recipes? No. No, use no. it whole. Or you can grind it, whatever you wish. We use it whole. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, let's... Okay, keep cooking. Your family's worth it. Don't forget. I love how she hits me to say it. We can both say it together. <laughs> yes. Keep cooking. Your family's worth it. On the meal plan I'm... tonight is a bow tie pasta with cherry tomatoes. It's really good. We have our buttermilk waffles on Wednesday. Thursday is our, our fajitas. Our, our, no, our enchiladas, I thought. Is it fajitas? It's fajitas. Okay. <laughs> There's so many good things for this week. So, yes, you can get the... I saw somebody say... They wanted the blank templates. You can get all of that. We're we're trying to get better. We can only do so much. We, we There's so much more we need to be doing. So thanks for being patient with us. We're trying. The most important thing for you to know is that you need to cook for your family three times a week. As statistics have proven that if you cook for your family at least three times a week, your kids will get better grades. They'll be more likely to come to you when they have a problem. They'll have better conversation skills. And what kids don't need better conversation skills nowadays? Oh my goodness, all they do is text. All they, they, I thought we were ending, and I now know, you're going I on know. to a okay, whole nother. we're ending. But yes, okay. it's super important. Honestly, you guys, all over on Instagram right now, they're talking about the importance of have a family dinner time, and that's all we talk about. That is what we preach. That's the reason we get on here. It's not just to show you some delicious recipe. It's like, yes, it's, it, it's important, but really, we're all about family dinner time. It's so important to be around the dinner table at least three nights a week. Um, there are statistics out there everywhere that have proven that to be right. And even if you feel like 
It does, you just don't have the time to make it the most fancy, whatever. Whatever you're doing, just make sure you're sitting and at least talking to your kids because you really start to get things out of them. Um, honestly, I don't know. I guess I just feel like sharing this or whatever, but I we were having a discussion with my little family and something really crazy came from the dinner table that night. And she would have never told me it, I know it, if we would have never been eating around the dinner table. And it wasn't until later I said, huh, okay, like what was that comment? And then it like all came out. Our kids, um, especially, I feel like more than what her generation was with all of us, our kids are talking a lot. Like you think that your kids are not learning stuff at school, they are. Like. I, um, I was even talking a couple other moms and they were saying that they were hearing crazy stuff. Our kids are learning and hearing really crazy stuff. At really school. young. Really young. My daughter is nine and she just learned something very crazy. So I'm just trying to tell you that that is really the importance of dinner too, is just the conversation. It's always looking into their eyes and really talking about their day because that's when they're going to really tell you something. And I'm always becoming a believer of it again and again and again because really she told me something pretty crazy that a kid had told her at school. So I'm just saying it's important. Make sure to keep doing it. And even if you're an older generation and you're it's an empty nester, an empty nester, bond together and, and make it important to talk about each other's day, you know, because we all have and if a you day. don't know where to begin with conversation, we have conversation starters in our books. And they're perfect conversation starters. I love them. You know what's else fun about it? Somebody else asked if that's what we really were grown up with. And I said, yeah, we actually were. And the conversation starters, the, you know what else is fun about them? You learn about each other. Because one mom was telling me that like her son didn't even know that she hated tomatoes or whatever. That's what's fun about it. These little conversation starters get you talking about other things that you don't know. Like yeah. get to know each other really. Let's see. Let's get just, to know each other more. Let's just turn to one of the pages with the conversation starter. Um, this one, just right here. I just turned to one on page 100. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> Mom's really tired tonight and coming down with a bad cold. Let's not let her do cleanup tonight. And which one of you will cook dinner tomorrow? Okay, now that's a pretty good conversation starter. <laughs> Mom's tired and she's got a cold. Who's gonna cook dinner tomorrow? Mom, did you make that's this all fun. up your own? Yeah, I did. You're the bomb. Yeah, now they have, um, these were made up, oh, over 15 years ago, the conversation starters that I came up with. Now you can actually go into shops and find books with conversation starters. I know, yeah. you started no. it all. <laughs> no, I didn't, <laughs> but but you can actually go and find books or little ideas now. No, really, so it's that's fun. Really and fun. It, it really does, like, it helps the conversation going. She even had a show that, what, the husband and wife, we've said it before, but they were fighting right uncontrollably and nobody was talking to each other yeah and it wasn't until the conversation starters that then that's when they started talking and opening it up and it like broke the ice with the fight between the husband and the wife yeah so i don't know just know that that really is what our message is and when we're always talking about kamut and our salt and things like that it's because it's going to upgrade the quality it's, it's, of your life too <laughs> we're sharing it because it's the kamut and the salt is a quality of life that we want everyone to enjoy. Yeah. We had no idea we were going to sell either, but it got so popular and everyone was asking us, get some, get some for us. So then they, we were approached and um, that's the reason why we're selling it. We went after the salt, <laughs> that's for sure. But the Kamut um, people got in touch with us and they said, we'd be glad to go into partnership with you and get this out um, in the open because it is that amazing. Um, the Kamut ancient grain, 100% organic, 100% pure strain, never been modified, is changing so many people's lives. Um, for the better. Every single thing that you cook with it, it ups the quality of whatever it is. It doesn't matter if it's the cornbread, if it's whatever bread recipe you're making in our books or whatever bread recipes you have. And the other thing you have to remember, you're spending $4 a loaf for bread. 
most of the time. Yeah, you are. And um, people say, but it's too expensive. It's too much money. But that's what you're spending on bread already at the store. And those that are getting the special loaves mm -hmm. um, are spending $6 and up mm -hmm. for an incredible, full grain, loaded, amazing loaf of bread. You're spending six and up. Yeah. So when you're buying the Kamut and making your own bread, there's still a massive savings. So yes, it's more expensive than what we use. We can't make a baguette with regular all-purpose flour for 20 cents anymore, our baguettes. It's, the cost has gone up, but it's worth it. Just like you're out there spending more money for the specialty breads that are full of better grain and better products, that's what you can do by doing it, it, it yourself at home. But it's still not going to cost you what you're paying in the store. Yeah, it won't. Especially our 25-pound bag. Yeah. That's your big savings. Yeah right there and soon our shipping will come together we hoped it would happen the end of january but just like the docks are not <laughs> releasing the salt um there's other things to work out and everybody knows who's in business we know now anybody who's in business knows and understands there's delays sometimes you get things quicker than you thought sometimes sometimes the yeah. delays are much um, longer than you thought. So we're working as hard as we can to get all the products and everything coming together. Yep. So thanks everybody. Thanks. And have the best day. We wanted to end like 20, 15 minutes ago. So don't worry. Yeah. We literally can talk all day long. <laughs> so we're sorry. Anyways, we're thankful for you. We appreciate you. We appreciate your ideas. Keep coming in what you want to see this year. Honestly, I think that's a big thing. We want to be able to show you exactly what you want because that's what we're here for, all right? But we love you guys, right? We, do love we really you. do. We feel like we've got so many fun connections on here. Have a good day and what? We'll talk to you. We'll later. see you on Friday. <laughs> see you Friday. Oh.